Hey everybody, Adobe has been hammered this week with complaints about Lightroom 6.2 and I'm no fan either. But what I want to focus on in this video is the speed performance of the Lightroom import dialog. I've noticed this getting worse and worse and worse over the last 18 months, maybe even two years. Uh, but with the last 6.2 update, it has just come to a crashing halt. Uh, and I've been complaining about it, many, many other photographers have as well. My Facebook and, and uh, comments on the blog have just been lighting up over the last week. And so I want to compare Lightroom's import versus Photo Mechanic, Capture One, and the Photos app on the Mac, which I believe are the biggest competitors to uh, Lightroom right now. So let's see what it does. First, let's start it with Capture One. So Capture One is a cool program. Um, that allows you to really do everything you do in Lightroom um, and we're going to try the import here. So I'll just click import on the same set of images. I imported 97 images, raw files. Oh, Lightroom crashed in the background here while I'm trying to run another program. Stop that. Uh, Lightroom has been crashing like crazy lately. Okay, get out of the way. Okay, so we're still going. Let's see how we do here. And we are at 27 seconds, and now it is fully imported. We have all the images, but we're still building previews. Uh, the previews are gonna allow us to browse through the photos much, much, much faster afterwards so that we can see them full screen. Okay, that was 114 seconds to uh, get through all the photos imported, and you can see we can browse through them very, very quickly now in Capture One. There's a tiny hesitation because the screen goes to, to blank and then brings up the next photo, but it's still pretty good. All right, now we're gonna test Photo Mechanic, um, and we're just gonna import the exact same 97 photos that are already coming in here. Wow, that's fast. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible. All right, that was 12 seconds uh, to bring in all of the photos. And you can see we can browse through them quickly. Even if we go full screen, I can browse through these photos just about as quick as I can click. I The photos are all blurry, but I did that. Whatever, I was just snapping 97 photos. I had too slow of a shutter speed. Let's compare this with the Photos app on the Mac. I'm just gonna choose the exact same folder here and let's bring these in. And we'll go ahead and click on import right here. All right, well, <laughs> Uh, that was even faster. Uh, I'm guessing, well, guessing. I, the timer's about nine seconds here. I was so surprised that I didn't quite even, wasn't even quite watching it. Nine seconds were there. You can see we can go make the photos full screen, um, even on a 5K iMac, and they're just showing up as fast as I can click to the next picture right here. Everything uh, looks really, really good. All right, now let's test this against Lightroom with this brand new horrible... Uh, import screen. One of the things that I don't like is it takes the part that was already easy, knowing where you're importing from, uh, and it takes the part that was complicated, knowing where the photos are actually going, complicated for newer users, and it hides it under a gear wheel. That's just a foolish choice. But let's see the speed here. All right, importing. hundred eighty five seconds later now we can finally browse through the photos at a reasonable speed so that we can make our edits I don't know what's going on at Adobe uh, I have problems with the design of the import feature like everybody else does uh, but the speed of Lightroom has just come down to a crashing halt uh, just slowly progressively over the last two years um, and I'm taking a really hard look at alternatives to Lightroom now. I hope Adobe gets their stuff uh, put together now so we can keep using the program that we used to like. Well, thanks for joining me. 
Be sure to subscribe to the Improved Photography YouTube channel. I got t stuff like this going up all the time. Thanks for joining me. Bye.